Hello fun people, I'm Isaac Carlson and we need to talk about how during the 2022 Oscar ceremony, on the night where the world celebrates the magic of filmmaking, animation was totally thrown under the bus. Because animated films make up some of our most formative movie experiences as kids. Now everything these three women said isn't inherently bad. They are acting so nice and playful with their comments and it's absolutely true that there are households across the world who watch animated movies on repeat, especially with the rise of streaming services. So so many kids watch these movies over and over and over and over and over and over and over. Mm. But the issue is that their comments about animation are happening on one of the few nights a year when animation is recognized on a worldwide stage. On one of these infrequent moments to shine a light on the beauty of animation and filmmaking, they insinuated that animation is a medium exclusive for children, which is belittling and insulting to the art that so many people create. Right. Over and over. I see some parents out there know exactly what we're talking about. There's literally thousands of people who contribute to the production of these massive animation projects. There are so many artists who have dedicated their lives to creating animated films, and the movies that were created over the last year were able to be completed because of their continued dedication despite working from home during a pandemic. Obviously, when they're working for Disney, Pixar, DreamWorks, or Illumination, they know that the films they're making are going to be primarily marketed to younger audiences, but the idea that everything they do is only to entertain kids is just disrespectful. There's an infinite number of ways to entertain children that's a lot less expensive than creating animated films. So if that was everyone's goal, they could definitely find a way to produce more movies on a smaller budget. There's a reason animation is used, and at least in my mind, it's chosen as a medium because it's an art form that has continuously captured our hearts and minds over the last hundred years. I mean, that's why it feels really weird that the presenters of the award haven't even worked on an animated project. The award for best animated feature film was presented by three of Disney's live action princesses, and since one of those movies isn't even out yet, it felt kind of like an advertisement integrated into the show, which is only made worse by the fact that Disney owns the network the Oscars plays on. Again, there's literally studios filled with people who build animated characters and worlds every day, and none of them were chosen to represent the medium they work within. It just felt wrong to have actresses speaking about animation who were only a part of the reimagining of Disney's animated classics. I didn't like the context around the presentation of this award, especially when we consider the origin of the Best Animated Feature Film Award and comments by the Academy over the last few years. The award was created after Beauty and the Beast was nominated for Best Feature Film, and Disney was breaking box office records in the 90s. It was an attempt to completely separate it from the rest of the real films, and over the last few years, members of the Academy have admitted to not even seeing all of the animated films they were voting on. The whole situation just feels like it was reducing the relevancy and impact that animation actually has in people's lives. Bringing up an overused joke about how kids just watch animated movies on repeat ignores the families who felt seen by Encanto's diverse cast and themes of family trauma. They're pushing aside the unique art direction and hilarious and heartwarming story that exists in Mitchell's vs. the Machines. And they honestly seem to be forgetting the fact that one of the nominees called Flea is an adult animated documentary about fleeing Afghanistan as a gay refugee. Sure, I'm disappointed by all of this as an adult who adores animation, but truly I can't imagine being the creator of Flea and seeing a group of celebrities write off such a personal film just because it's telling a story through animation. I remember being a kid in seventh grade reading a book about Peter Pan and having a kid come up to me and giving me a hard time about it. I remember doing a presentation in high school about Walt Disney and a girl asking me what my favorite Disney movie was and the first thought that went through my head was what Disney movie would be considered the most manly. I remember being in my dorm room in college feeling so embarrassed as I was recording videos about Elsa knowing the guys outside my door could absolutely hear me in the hallway. I feel like ever since elementary school I've always felt this pressure, especially as a guy, to not enjoy princesses, Disneyland, and animated movies because it's all just made for young girls. Truly, it's only because of this YouTube channel where I have found a community of people who enjoy all these things like I do that I've finally gotten to a place where I can confidently say again, I love princesses, Disneyland, and animated movies. 
but I don't want people to have to go through that. You don't have to grow out of animation. Anyone can enjoy it, and that's why it makes me so sad to see the Oscars describe animation as something that is only obsessed over by kids and that is endeared by parents and adults, which really doesn't even make sense since the ceremony literally featured a remix of We Don't Talk About Bruno with Meg Thee Stallion. They know Encanto made a massive cultural impact over the last year, but the Oscars still just write it off as something that doesn't reach the same artistic heights as the films the Academy actually respects. And you know what else is funny? In Amy Schumer's monologue, she even pokes fun at the reality that the Oscars is disconnected from the entertainment people actually widely enjoy and consume. Regardless of what some filmmakers want to believe, superhero epics and animated movies are what have dominated people's attention in the years that have led up to 2022. Animation should not be ignored, mocked, or criticized because it is accessible to everyone. Through animation, we're able to see the fight between good and evil, how love triumphs over all. We can adventure through new cultures. We're able to gain perspectives and empathize with new types of people. We can see the complexities in our society, the importance of family, and the power and magic of music. If you're someone out there that feels like what you love is childish, silly, or weird, ignore them because I promise you that remaining true to your passions and following what brings you joy will always be worth it, no matter what anyone says. To all of you animation fans, life is too short to be concerned about how others view the things that you love. To everyone who is in the animation industry, thank you for all of your hard work and creativity. To everyone who worked on Encanto, congratulations on winning Best Animated Feature Film. To lift each other up, I think it would be awesome for us all to share an impactful moment for us in the animation world over the last year down in the comments. I'll go into more detail in my comment, but I think for me, seeing myself and Katie Mitchell in Mitchell vs. the Machines was definitely my highlight, but what moment meant a lot to you? Let me know below the like button, consider subscribing for more magical videos, and I think it goes without saying, but animation is cinema.